Okay, click sketch. I'll create a sketch. Choose a plane. Press L for the line key. Click this center point once and start to drag upwards. We'll type in 100 as in 100 millimeters and press enter or return. We'll press the L key again. We're going to select the starting point as the center point again. Start to drag out. We'll type 30 millimeters. Press enter. Let's zoom in. And the end point of our last line, we'll press L and we'll start there. We'll go upwards. We'll type 5. We will press enter. We'll press L again and we'll choose the last end point. And we're going to go upwards at an angle of, I guess, 59 or 59 degrees there. Press enter. Okay, we're now going to zoom out a little bit. Press the L key. Choose the top of that first line that we sketched and start to drag out. We'll type 40 to 40. Enter. We'll press the L key again for another line and we're going to join the end of our last line to the end of the one we did previously, this small one at an angle. There we go. You can see now that's turned pale blue, so that means that all the lines in our construction lines, they're all uh, joined together, so we'll click Finish Sketch. We're going to go to Create and choose Revolve. It's already selected um, the sketch for us, but we do over on the right hand side, you'll see it's highlighted axes. We're going to choose this, this center line on the left. We're going to make that 360 degrees. You all should do that by default. We'll press Enter. And you can see now, if I go to Home, we've got the beginnings of a, a, a cup or a glass tumbler. If we use the shell tool, which is under modify, and then it'll say shell, we'll click on the top of our model here. We'll type in two for two millimeter thickness. We'll press return or enter. If I rotate that, you can see it's shelled the entire inside. So it has a thickness, a constant thickness of two millimeters. Okay, so that's our basic uh, cup shape. I'm just gonna view that now from the front. So I'll click on the uh, cube at the top here. Now what I'm going to do is create a new sketch. I'm going to choose this plane here. That's the one facing me. You can see that there. I'm then going to zoom in. I'm going to press the L key. Now you'll need to choose where you want your uh, cup holder to start. I think around about three quarters of the way up. So I'm going to zoom right in. And I want it to start around about There. So I've had to zoom in quite a lot to get right on the edge of the glass. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that, when I'm dragging down, 22.5. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can see the end of this line. Zoom in here. I'm going to make sure this lines up with the rest of this tumbler we've designed. So I'll click there. And then I'm going to drag I'll continue the line, so I'll drag outwards. I'm going to make that 1.5. Press enter. And then I'm going to go to the beginning of this line and press the L key. Just click on the start point of that line, drag out. Make that 1.5. Press enter. And then our final line, I'm going to start at the end of this line at that circle point. Zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to join that to the end of the other line down here. Look. Again, that's turned into a pale blue, so we know that they're all joined together nicely. Um, one final check to make sure it's not overlapping the glass, because that could, should cause some problems. I think it's just on the edge, which is what we want. So I'll click Finish Sketch. We're going to use the Revolve tool again, so I'll go from Create to Revolve. It's pre-selected it. I'm going to zoom out. But for this, I want to use this green axis line here, but the body's in the way. So I'm going to unsee the bodies. I'm going to choose this green line down here. Look, you see it's gone blue now. Click on there. I'm going to bring bodies back. And you can see it's, it's red. It's gone all the way around. Now, the important thing over here is to change this from cut to new body. So I'll change that to new body. I'll click OK. 
let's go to home. So now we've got our glass or our cup with what is a ring around there. Uh, I'm now going to go to sketch. I'm going to choose a plane. I'm going to zoom right in up here so this fills the screen. I'm going to choose the line tool, which we'll know by now is the L key. I'm going to choose a point for my uh, handle to start, which I think I'll start it around towards the top, so around about here. Just zoom in a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to move that out to be around 12, I think. 12 seems fine. I'm going to extend that line outwards. So the degree that I've chosen here is at 114.4. I'm, I'm kind of making this big up as I go along. But the I want it around about 20 millimeters, so that's good for me. I'll click there. I'm going to extend that line down another 10 millimeters. And then I'll press enter. Now I'm going to use the offset tool. So I'll press the O key. And then I'm going to choose that line that I just created. And I'm going to type in two for two millimeters. And I'll press enter. I'm just going to go up here and make sure this comes across. So I'm just going to drag that. So all I did there was drag the, the dot over. I'll then choose the L key. I'm going to join these two together. I'm going to come down here and join these two together in a line. Again, it's gone pale blue, so we know they're all connected. I'll click Finish Sketch. We're going to go to the Revolve tool, as we have done before, only this time we're going to choose something different. So again, like before, I need to unsee the bodies, choose the green axis line, bring back the bodies, but this time we don't want it to be 360 degrees around. So over here in the Revolve menu, you can see, because I've used it before, it says symmetric. You also probably say one side or two sides. So let's choose a symmetric and the degree that we want is not 360, but we'll put 15 in there. And again, we don't want this to cut, but we don't want a new body this time, which is joined to the previous body. So we'll click on join. We'll click OK. If we go to home, then you can see here, we've now got a handle, which is attached to the cup holder. What I'm gonna do now, is on the in the menu on the left where it says bodies i'm going to right click on there i'm going to choose create components from bodies i'm going to rename this one um we'll just call that the cup for now and i'm going to rename this one the holder we'll press enter now these two are separate so we can do it like them i'm going to make sure the dot is in the holder I'm now going to use the fillet tool, which is up here, or we could use the F key. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to choose that line and I'm going to make that three. Enter. I'm going to rotate around. I'm going to press the F key again for fillet. I'm going to make that three. Okay. I'm going to use the fillet again. So F, I'm going to choose that line. I'm going to rotate under and choose the line right underneath it, that one, I'm gonna make that five. And then I'm gonna rotate over here, press the fillet key, this is the F key. Choose both sides of that lower bend there. I'm gonna make those five, just to smoothen that out a little bit. Then I'm gonna use the fillet tool again, F key, I'm gonna choose this end point here, this end point down here, you can see it's, it's the two edges. Like that, we'll make that five, just to add a little bit of a round shape to that. We'll press enter. Okay, let's just go back to our home key. Uh, now what I'm gonna do, just to soften some of these edges, is use the fillet key again. So F, I'm gonna choose this outside and this outside, and I might make that just one, just to take the edge off there a little bit. We'll press enter. Okay, let's use the fillet tool again, we'll press F. I'm going to choose that side, rotate we'll around a little bit on that side, and we'll try and make that two. We'll press enter. Okay, let's go to home. And we can see we've got our holder, which is pretty much finished there. What I'm going to do is put, uh, make sure the cup is selected this time. I'm going to go to the fillet tool again and choose the inner and outer lines of the top ring of the glass. I'm going to press 0.5 on there. In fact, we can probably make that one. 
There we go. We'll use one just to soften that edge because you're drinking from that. You don't want any sharp edges. Similarly, down here, what I'm going to do is use the fillet tool. So the F key, I'm going to choose the very bottom ring. I think I'll soften that by about two. I'll use the fillet tool again. So I'll F key. So I'll click this one and this one. These other two rings above there. I'm going to use a one just to soften it a little bit, but I still want that sharp angle. And we'll click OK. Now what I'm going to do is just save that. So we'll call this uh, cup or for me. Cup 2.0. The reason we're saving it is because we want to make some aesthetic changes and you can't do that unless you have saved it. So now we'll go from the design menu to render. Just need to change a quick setting in mind that you probably won't have to. I'll press 120 and enter. Okay, right, we're going to go to the appearance wheel. I'm going to use uh, the glossy red plastic for my handle. So I'll just drag and drop. And then uh, under glass, I think I'm going to use this nice light blue color. I'm going to drag that over and have a glass uh, tumbler. I will click close. If I rotate this around, you can see now that I've got a glass drinking cup. And because the glass will get hot, you might need some form of a handle or a holder when you're drinking your cup of tea or coffee. So we've got our, I guess, sort of travel mug cup holder, and we're completely finished. The last thing we want to do really is to take some nice renders of this. So you could hit the render teapot, choose the settings you want, depending on how big you need it. You'll click on render. Once it says submitting, you'll click uh, close. When you go down to the render gallery down here, you can see it's here. This will take a couple of minutes and then you can open this and then download it and it will look even better than it looks on screen right now. And there you go. In a short space of time, you've managed to use lots of different tools and you've made a glass tumbler or a glass drinking cup with a travel, travel uh, handle.